Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own RGB sign that you can control with your mobile phone or through the computer. We will be using a bamboo printer that has an AMS system so if you have the P1 or X1 carbon or A1 printer this video is for you. The first thing we need to do is go find a nice font and we can use the website thefont.com and the one I'm going to use in this tutorial is a Super Mario font but there is a lot of fonts on this website so find something that will work for you. If you want to use the one that I am using just search Mario. I am using this one here Super Mario 256 so you can just press here download and you can open the font and then press install. Now that we have a nice font we can open up Fusion 360 and quickly design the sign. Click on create sketch and select the front plane. We will create a rectangle for our sign. I am making this sign 240 by 120 millimeter. We can then draw a line and change it to center line and we can make the center lines that will help us place the text later. Click on create and select text. Click and drag the area where your text will go. Make sure to go select your text and give it a certain height and character spacing. And now you can go write anything you want and press OK. The most important step is to change the font to lines, which we can do by right clicking on the text and press explode text. The lines will be locked. So click on constraints and on fix unfix and highlight the text and it should be blue lines meaning it is not fixed anymore. Now we can double click on each character to select all the lines and then move it around. You can then move around all the characters until you are happy with the results. We will then create an offset of the outside rectangle and let's make this negative 6 mm. Then go draw center lines connecting the rectangles which will be where we will create our holes for our screws. And then create center lines again connecting the midpoints. We will make 3.2 mm holes as I will be using 3 mm screws to keep the back plate and main body together. Go make holes on the four corners and middle points, but only the corners should be enough. Now we can finally start extruding everything. Select the inner part of the rectangle around the text and extrude this 3 mm. Now unhide the sketch and extrude the outer rectangle and holes 33 mm. Now select all the text and this will only be extruded 0.4 mm, but very important, make sure it is a new body. Now we can select all the holes and press extrude, but this time we want to cut with an offset of 20 mm, should be good enough. Now that we have our main body, we need to make a backplate quickly. Edit the sketch and copy everything. And create a new design. Select sketch and front plane and then we can paste. Now just go delete everything except the outer rectangle and holes. We can also now create a small rectangle at the bottom where our power cable will go inside. So here I made a simple square hole, but you might, depending on your situation, want to use a DC power jack. I'm going to run power through the hole because I have a 5 volt power supply for all my projects. Now extrude the sketch 2mm. Now we can go and export our design as an STL by going to File and 3D Print. We need to give our file a name and then press save and go open it depending on your location. Open Bamboo Lab and import the STL file. The next step is very important. Right click on a 3D objects, go to split and press to objects. 
if your does not show this, it is because when you extruded the letters, you did not change it to new bodies. We can then click on the objects, go change it to a different color. But since we are making an RGB sign, I am going to use black and white filament. As the white filament will diffuse the different colors, giving us the RGB sign. Now just go change your settings according to your filament and slice the print and send it to the printer. Here is the 3D printed part, it came out looking very nice and the backplate as well fits perfectly in line with our 3D print. Now all we need to do is go add the RGB LEDs and controller. I am going to use these addressable LEDs, the WS2818B LED strip. I will cut the LEDs in strip that it fits the backplate and then we just need to go solder all the LEDs together. Make sure about the orientation. If it is your first time working with these LEDs, go check on my channel, a previous video I have done on these LEDs before. After soldering all the LEDs, our backplate should look like this. Now we just need to connect the LEDs to a microcontroller. I decided to use a Wemos D1 mini Wi-Fi port that is based on an ESP8266EX. We will be using WLED, a web server to control the NeoPixel LEDs, which comes with a lot of features like special effects and a color palette, which we will use to control the color of our sign. To install WLED, we need to make sure that the D1 Mini is in boot mode, which we can do by shorting the D8 pin to ground. Now we can plug it into our USB and then following the link in the description, we can install WLED from the website. After it has installed successfully, we can then connect to our Wi-Fi and then visit the device and then we have access to WLED. Now all that is left to do, we need to go click on config and go to LED preference. And here we can set the number of LEDs, which in our case will be 84 LEDs. And here we can set the GPIO pin, which we'll set to GPIO 2. And then we can just go to the bottom and we can click apply and save. Now we can plug the data pin into our LED board and now we can control our LEDs. So all that is now left to do is to go put the enclosure together and there you have it, your own LED sign. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know how to make this without a bamboo lab printer and just using any type of printer, just let me know in the comment section down below and I can make a follow up video on this. Consider subscribing for more DIY projects in the future. I will see you in the next video.